Pathogens. Pathogens are organisms that can cause disease in humans and animals. On the surface of the pathogen are molecules called antigens. Antigens are recognized by the body's immune system. If the antigen is foreign, i.e. not from the body, it will elicit an immune response. Viruses take over and kill cells, which causes disease. Proteins feed off nutrients in the body, causing sickness. Bacteria release toxins and break down surrounding tissue, also causing sickness. Infectious disease. An infectious disease in a human or an animal is defined as 1. Clinically evident. 2. Impairment of the host's metabolic functioning. 3. Is caused by one or more pathogens. The pathogen may be a prion. Three lines of defense. Defense can be broken down into three types. The first line of defense, nonspecific defense, that's the skin, mucous membranes, and chemicals. The second line of defense is nonspecific defenses like phagocytosis, complement, interferon, inflammation, and fever. The third line of defense is specific defenses. These include lymphocytes and antibodies. Repelling invaders. Viruses, bacteria, and parasites may be invaders. The first line of defense is the skin and mucous membranes, also surface chemicals on the skin. An invader tries to break through the skin. The skin can repel the invaders. However, if there's a break in the skin, the invaders may get past the first line of defense. In the second line of defense, it's phagocytosis, and complement and interferon and inflammation occur. These are used to repel or destroy invaders, however, it's nonspecific. If the invader manages to get past the second line of defense, the third line of defense is brought to bear, and this includes the lymphocytes and antibodies. This is a specific defense. So the first and second line of defense are nonspecific, while the third line of defense is specific defenses. Second line of defense, overview. The second line of defense is nonspecific. It operates against a wide variety of pathogens like parasitic worms, viruses, etc. Composed of cells, phagocytes, antimicrobial chemicals, complement interferon, and processes like inflammation and fever. The second line of defense includes no physical barriers like the skin. Second line of defense overview in more detail. Again, we have an invader. In the second line of defense, phagocytosis, complement interferon, inflammation, are the primary modes of addressing the second line of defense. Accumulation of inflammatory cells infiltrates including lymphocytes and polymorphonuclear leukocytes PMN are responses characteristic of the second line of defense. Third line of defense overview. The third line of defense is specific and acquired. It is specific against a pathogen and acquired because the immune system must be exposed to the pathogen to develop immunity. This kind of immunity is called specific immunity. Development of immune cells. Three types of formed cells. 
These include erythrocytes, platelets, and leukocytes. Let's start with a blood stem cell in the bone marrow. It can become an erythroid stem cell, evolving into an erythrocyte. An erythrocyte transports gas, oxygen. The blood stem cell in the bone marrow may also become a lymphoid stem cell. Lymphoid stem cells give rise to lymphocytes. This is used in specific defense. Blood stem cells may also become myeloid stem cells, giving rise to activated platelet, clotting and inflammation, basophil, inflammation, neutrophil, eosinophil, and monocytes. These are involved in phagocytosis. The inflammation and phagocytosis is part of the second line of defense. These, along with specific defenses, are classed as leukocytes.